Hey folks, how's it going? In the woods today. Yeah, I know. I said I wasn't gonna come back out. There's an airplane. A garbage truck just went by. It is so loud here. I tried something different. <clears throat> I'm in a different part, a different area than what I've previously been searching. <laughs> there goes a Harley. God, it's loud here. Wow. <laughs> it's not going to be a quiet searching day, that's for sure. Wow. Okay. Well, anyway, this is... <laughs> oh, Georgia. <laughs> Georgia. Oh, my goodness. It's really busy in Georgia. Anyways, this is what we're looking at today. I'll show you. So we're right on a corner, it's a corner lot. This road did not exist, these houses did not exist. And there's a barn structure that I could see on a 1993 satellite map. Um, I'm actually right about, uh, right about here right now. And there's a barn structure right here. And I can see it, it's a little, shed type structure seems to have a little bit of age to it uh, so there's going to be quite a few barn structures in here the house sat up on the corner I'm glad I brought my headphones it is loud there goes another airplane it is loud here. Wow. <laughs> so, I lined up six more sites. Six new sites that I haven't searched yet, that I haven't even identified, gone out and explored yet. This is number one of six today. After that, that's it for Georgia. Uh, I had today, I was doing nothing, nothing going on. So, hey, you know, why not? Let's get out and give it one more chance for Georgia one more chance so six sites hopefully one of those sites will produce a good site to search something that will I just got bit by a pricker bush Wow and I don't even see any prickers you see any prickers on this thing Something just went right into my leg, and these are some thick pants. Oh, I hope it's not going to be another Mulligan Day or Murphy Day. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get back to North Carolina. Well, when I do, uh, on Thursday, I'm going to be ordering a new metal detector. I'll let you know what I'm getting when I get out there and start searching with it. Um, I like this detector. I've done a lot of research on it so far. It Every, it has every feature that I like in a detector. It's it's complicated, but not overly complicated. Enough to get into a site and be able to change up everything every time you go in and, and learn something new. Anyways, let's get these headphones on. Let's get in here. Let's start searching. Get rid of all this urban noise. Georgia. Oh my goodness. All right, see you out there. Going that way. And this is exactly what I was getting frustrated about. There's so much disrespect for these uh, old home sites. They're just completely consumed with trash. Dumping everywhere. There's a huge dump in there. I believe the house set up in, in this real thick stuff. It's gonna take a minute to get in there and look. Hey, little guy, what's happening? We got a little friend here today. He's not shy at all, is he? Yeah, Mr. Box Turtle. I gotta go in there. It is really thick. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's pretty neat landscape in here. Some big granite boulders laying around. I 
I believe the structure is somewhere in front of me. That way. It is really slow moving in here. It is so thick. This really small light stuff. It's because I'm the, underneath on the ground. It's just, it's all granite. Solid granite formation everywhere in here with uh, protruding boulders. And there's just not enough soil for a root to take hold. Alright. <laughs> Trying to get through this. See ya. Well, this one might not be any good. Just because of the amount of underbrush I have to deal with. It's all in there. That The house and barn and everything is in there. And it's just way too thick. I've tried to make my way through that a couple times, and uh, it's overly difficult. So, I'm doing a 360 around the property just to see if there's any kind of open area that leads into it. So far, I haven't found anything. Alright, I'll keep you updated. Yeah, there's absolutely no chance of getting in there. It is completely consumed by underbrush of the thickest and prickly kind bummer because it's so thick that dumping is probably down to the minimal besides that toilet <laughs> somebody's toilet all right well, I'll make it back to my bike. See ya. Oh, yummy. Face full of cobweb. That's the best breakfast in the morning. Breakfast of champions. Yeah. Well, what I could do when I get up here to my bike, we got that little barn structure. I can twiddle around there for a minute or two and see if there's anything there. Yeah, just cannot get in there. I just walked 360 all the way around this place, and we're back. And that's the only structure I have seen. So I'll twiddle around in here as much as I can. See what we can find here, and then I'm rolling on. That's one of six. <sighs> See ya. Anybody start collecting these yet? <laughs> There's a lot of them here. Total garbage. I guess what we can do is just investigate this little little shack. See if there's any old bottles around it. So far, modern stuff. Is that a big chunk of coal? Wow. That's a big chunk of coal right there. Anthracite, I believe. Look at all the coal in here. This was a coal shack. Yeah. That's a coal shack. Oh, we got some masons. That's the age on them. No idea. And we got some kind of bone. We got a coke. kind of coke is it? I don't know. Any more? Let's see if we can get any kind of dates off these. What would be like, I don't know, 50s, yeah. 50s. 1950s. Nineteen fifties. Any more soda? Any more Coke? Somebody's old hard hat. <laughs> Well, 
that's it. That's it. Some whiskey, lots of coal, big chunks of coal. A uh, nice little Coke bottle that's broken. Some masons in there. And that's it. That's it. Moving on. Let's go find something else to do. Oh, it's so difficult getting through here. Oh, there's a whole big dump back here as well. I'll just check it, see if there's any more Cokes in there. I would keep that Coke if it wasn't broken. These are all modern, aren't they? Yeah, modern, modern, modern. I mean, look, there's a Lego in there. A lot of trash. Yeah, it looks like a big dump. Maybe that's the house up there. Let's go look. Maybe this is a spot I can get in. Oh, it's difficult getting through the jungles of Georgia. Well, it might be a barn. It might be a barn. It is a house. I believe we located the house. Maybe. It's hard to tell. It is super hard to tell. Is this a barn? Watch out for snakes. What do we get there? Uh, knee high. March 3rd, 25th. Patent design, 60s. I believe that probably would have had the patent uh, <laughs> ACL on it. This looks like a barn. All right, I'll bring you back if I find anything significant. Yeah, lots of mason jars, 1960s. That's about it so far. Yeah, I just walked the ground around the entire structure and absolutely nothing significant. 60s and 70s. And it is a barn. How do we get there? Milke, orange phosphate, enriched with vitamin D. That's interesting. I've never found one of these. It's too bad that's broken. Contains vitamin B. Is that Coca-Cola Company? Under a license of Milk Bottle Core, St. Louis. That had milk in it? Orange phosphate milk? That's interesting. You know, I guess I'll keep that, and uh, we'll just cut it off and make a glass out of it. I've never found one of those. Okay. That's it with this place, folks. Moving on. See you at the next one. Uh, we're just here. We're going to be coming to that one. Then that one. Then that one, that one, and that one, and then, uh, yeah, that one's next. Well, this one's no good. Uh, on to the next.